fastest 15 minutes in social media, fastest 15 minutes on the internet. And um, everybody's talking about Kobe Bryant and, um, you know, his untimely death. And so I wanted to talk about it, uh, but I want to talk about it from the conspiracy theory. And I want to just, and from a spiritual standpoint, all right? And I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to do another video, but this one I want to talk about conspiracy. And uh, I hate to bring this up, but you got to look at the, the markers, okay? First of all, Kobe Bryant, uh, he died a premature death. For all of you Bible thumpers and everybody who thumps the Bible, I want you to go to Psalms 90. Just go to Psalms 90 and read it over, all right? You don't have to, I'm, I'm not even going to explain it. it it's self-explanatory, like y'all always try to, the Bible explains itself. Well, this one does because it talks about premature death, all right? And if, you, if you're if you like familiar uh, with scripture, anytime there's like a funeral um, and somebody died prematurely, uh, what happens is, is that nine times out of 10, whoever the officiant is at the funeral or at the services will read the 90th Psalm. All right. Okay. So now I just want to let it, it was, it was read at, at Whitney Houston's uh, memorial service. All right. And it, it was the first thing that was ever done before, you know, they had all this stuff on, on television and all this kind of stuff. But before the service started, the, uh, the, the pastor whose church that they held her service in, what did they do? They read the 90th Psalm. All right. So now with that out the way, uh, let me get into this conspiracy theory. And I know everybody wants to tell, everybody's like always, oh, you know, it's a conspiracy. Okay. First of all, um, in 2016, there was a, a video and it was by, uh, it was by the legends of Chamberlain Heights, the legends of Chamberlain Heights, 2016. And basically what they did was that they, um, they showed Kobe Bryant like it was a joke. It was supposed to be a cartoon joke, but basically Kobe Bryant was crashing in a helicopter and he had his, uh, he had his two championship trophies. He comes out, look this stuff up. I'm not making it up. Um, and basically, so, so it was a precursor to him. Also, he did a, uh, there was a video of him and Kanye West and with him and Kanye West and basically uh with this video they they crashed and went up in flames all right now let me let me explain something to you i believe that kobe bryant and unfortunately his daughter were an illuminati sacrifice and let's couple that with the other things for example it was around awards time and i mentioned whitney houston um, you know, Whitney Houston's took death took place around what a war's time. She was she was in the bathtub by herself. There was nobody around her. She was completely alone, and all of a sudden she's dead. All right, and you got all these people in your life. You got all these handlers, all these people around you, and everything like that. But the split second you're alone, you come up dead, or you come up drowned in a bathtub. Really? Okay. Uh, um, and then you had the whole ceremonial thing of, of transfer, you know, passing the torch and everything with Clive Davis and all these other uh, high Illuminati um, warlocks and witches and all these people that were around. OK, so so and this this reeks of this, this whole incident reeks of it. a 41 year old uh, person that's in good health. Uh, no drug abuse, nothing like that. Okay. Then the next thing that happens is they come out and what do they do? They, they, they dehumanize him. All uh, right. Because now you got all of these groups coming out, calling him a, what calling him a rapist and calling him a, the N word. Right. Didn't they? And, and whether it was a mistake or not, you know, and what, and no matter how, because I know how you can, you know, I was in the, in the radio and television business for a long time. And I know how you can manipulate sound and you can manipulate pictures and you can, you can pretty much, and now with, with all this Photoshop stuff and all that, you can easily manipulate sound and pictures. So you got this thing going across the internet, uh, talking about calling Kobe the N word. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, 
And then there was a fake, I forgot about that. There was a fake, there was a hoax that came out on January 24th. 24 was what? His jersey number. All right. January 24th, there was a hoax that went across the the, the internet saying that the what? That Kobe had died. All right. So now let's talk about the spiritual concept behind all of this. And also that Kobe was known to flash Illuminati signs a lot. All right. He, uh, LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal have been known to flash Illuminati signs. So, you know, this whole thing like that, you know, uh, whatever you there are pictures on the Internet of, of Kobe doing that, you know, a lot. So let's not let's not get the game twisted. All right. Don't get the game twisted and think that everything was all good. Then you also have his connections to Italy. OK, Kobe Bryant was an Italian citizen. He owns a team in Italy. He owns a professional basketball team in Italy. So we're talking about he had he has ties into the highest echelons of what of the Illuminati. Cause you don't own, look, you don't own stuff like basketball teams and stuff like that unless you got ties into certain things. All right. And then every, every year, think about it, you know, Tupac, Biggie, all of these things, every time something happens where somebody dies prematurely like this, it's always around the time of the award show. So what the Grammys were taking place. He dies on the morning of the Grammys, you know, uh, and then, um, uh, posthumously uh nipsey hustle uh who who was also um i believe that he was he was a setup as a martyr uh so that you know so that they would be able to contain power and control over the masses once again you know because you have to realize all of these things are control mechanisms they are all things to trigger emotion and to make you react and act a certain way all right and so what, you know, this, so so all of this stuff is very polarizing. All of it is very uh, is 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 very mysterious. Uh, but if you really pick it apart, you can see like, look, they're you know they're a little day. Then you had then you had even had the point where you look at the at the at the whole worship thing, right? Remember Chief Keith and uh, and Wiz Khalifa and uh, and I think it might have been Little Uzi Vert. They had a video. Um, you know, I'm balling like Kobe. I'm finally rich. You know, I'm, you know, I'm finally out of this, that, and the other thing. Okay. And what does that do? That controls the masses. Okay. Because little young, younger people, they fall into that. And look what I, and then the other thing that I want to talk to you is that there is such thing as programming. So all of this is part of programming, all of it. It's part of programming, programming you, programming your children, programming everything, because people will look at this and they will feel they will have a certain way to feel about everything that's going on. Um, so remember, so they have this. So they have this thing. So now let's talk about the spiritual concept behind it. The spiritual concept behind this is what's called predictive programming. All right. Predictive programming. All right. And so all of these precursors, you know, the whole Kanye, him and Kanye going up, you know, the the uh, him, you know, and, and look, the Simpsons is the Simpsons is like the predictive programming center. All right. And I don't know if they had a Simpsons about him going up in hell, but you can literally you can literally, uh, you know, manifest the future. And so that's why, that's why when people, people get mad at me, when I tell them, I'm like, look, you have to be, be careful about what you say, what you look at, what you hear, everything, because everything that enters into your mind, anything that enters. And I remember I can still, even, even in the, even in the Christian church, some of the things that they tell you are true. So just like, I remember like Creflo Dollar had a series about, you know, protecting your eye gate, your ear gate, your mouth gate protecting these entrances into your body that's the same reason why sodomy anal sex and all of that that's why you pre that's why they preach against it why because it's an opening into your body and when something enters into your body you know sex all of that stuff and, and they just say oh no you're just being you know you're just being judgmental or whatever no 
not being judgmental, being truthful. Because every time something enters into your body, no matter how it enters in, it takes effect on your soul. Why? Because your soul is the sum total of everything that you've experienced in your life. Okay, so this, this whole thing about predictive programming, if I speak something over you enough, just like that's why I, even in a couple of videos ago and I was talking about, look, I, instead of, instead of talking about, you know, I'm a wretch and I'm a sinner and this, that, and the other thing, my, my thing is I'm a righteous man and I'm a multimillionaire. I'm a righteous man and I'm a multimillionaire. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit up there and say anything negative about myself or about anybody around me. Because I understand that these things and in, in, in the way, even the way that the founders of the United States of America, the slave owners, slave masters and everything else, you know what they did? And they and they put it in the history books. You learn their manifest destiny or their predictive programming. That's what you're learning. They're teaching you. They are indoctrinating you through everything, through religion, through education, through the media, through everything else into their predictive programming. So all of this stuff was predicted. It was predicted. This 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 video with Kobe going down in the helicopter came out in November of 2016. 2016. And then you had, like I said, then you had him and Kanye West, one of the biggest warlocks, witches, uh, Illuminati guys out there. You know, he he's sitting up there going up in flames. And what, you know, Kobe is a basketball player. He ain't no rapper, but he's up there with, but he's up there and his image is up there with the rappers. Why? So that he, because they want street cred. They want to get street credibility. Why? So that they can get more money. So they could get more fame, more everything that they need, you know. So yes, there is a there is a a even if it's not even if it's not a direct uh, sacrifice indirectly, it is an Illuminati sacrifice. They sacrifice that man, you know. And and you can't tell me, okay, and and why all of a sudden, you know, he's on there. You know, it's it's like it, it just doesn't make sense. And this was like and, and it was a known pattern that Kobe Bryant rode in helicopters. So they so they took his everyday his everyday activity, something that he wouldn't think would be dangerous, something that he would just, you know, shake off as this ain't no big deal. And the only thing that I want to know at this point is did the explosion occur before or after the helicopter hit the ground. All right. So now, I mean, so count it up. Premature death, award ceremony times, right? Dealing in the Illuminati with known warlocks, known witches, throwing up Illuminati hand signs all the time. All right. Dealing, dealing in, in things that are going to make what? Going to make me rich or famous? Or already have things that make me rich and famous, but I just want more. All right. And I'm not saying, and, and, the, and the thing about it is, and then everybody's, and then I can pull at your heartstrings. Why? Because his daughter was with him. Pull on your heartstrings because he was trying to do something for charity. Pull at your heartstrings. Pull at your heartstrings. Think about it. And it's all part, it's all, it just, it just adds up. When you put it all together, it's not, it's, it's just like, okay. And then when you think of manifest destiny, what is the manifestation of your destiny? Manifest destiny is what they taught us in school in grade school, you learn in your in your history class about manifest destiny. But whose destiny was being manifested? Whose whose control, power, and authority was being manifested through that manifest destiny? And what was the predictive programming? What was the program? Ain't we lucky? We got them. 
good times. That's 15 minutes. I'm out. Like button, subscribe button.